All right, so this is just a video, and I'm, I don't know who did this, but whoever did it, thank you very much. Um, but they're talking about these islands that just pop up out of nowhere, and how it's a mysterious thing and whatever, and Lone Eagle and some other people had been documenting these earth changes and whatnot. Um, you know, we all think it's a Mandela effect, right? <laughs> earth changes, and here... Uh, apparently, this is just a, an explanation. Unga Tonga. Islands whatever. seem to be popping up out of nowhere these days, rising out of the sea quite suddenly at times. That's what happened to Hunga Tonga when an underwater volcano right. gave birth to the island in the South Pacific. The thing was, everybody expected that it would eventually recede back into the ocean and was only a temporary landmark. It turns out that so isn't you the see? case. Yeah. And that this tiny little island is here to stay. Which is kind These of neat. It was given a lifespan of a few months way back in 2014, but is now scheduled to stick around for at least another few years. It doesn't have much to look at just yet, but reaches up to a point of 120 meters above the surface of the ocean. It's technically a part of the nation of Tonga which itself is pretty remote, so, so it's these not things easy to get there, were known and we wouldn't about advise it anyway because of, you know, evidence of recent underwater volcanoes capable of creating entire islands being active in the area. Real quick. What astounded scientists was I mean, that some that. chemical process was what led to the material that the island is composed of beginning to solidify and maintain its structure, which nobody expected to happen in the least. We don't know much about these things, but those who do are still scrambling to figure out exactly what's going on that's keeping the new island so structurally <laughs> sound, and it sounds like yeah, it could have all sorts Mandela of applications effect. if they manage to find something interesting to report. They say that the surrounding seawater could have somehow combined with the volcanic ash, yeah, which is what most of the island is made of. We don't know what the chances of that are, but it does sound pretty cool. Gavsa Alright, so, see, it's pretty cool, and I don't know what Gavsa Lake is, whatever, but it's just pretty cool, the dude is saying, you know. Oh, these islands are here to stay, and it's part of the Mandela effect, and there's people just scrambling all over okay maybe they were able to see this and this is how everything was formed before right this is part of Tonga way out and I what is it the South Pacific or I don't even know actually but I do remember looking at this stuff on Google Earth with uh, Lone Eagle and when he was documenting all these different islands popping up and you know these are just this is just one that's confirmed right here so this, you know, these people are saying, oh, we don't know how it happened. Well, we don't either. I mean, we don't know how this stuff is happening, but it is. And anyway, earth changes right here. There's other sources that are talking about this stuff, but it's the Mandela effect. So there you go. little, uh, I don't know, just some thoughts wanted to share.